My name is Pavna Mehta. I'm a visual artist. I cut paper to tell stories. Yeah, I have a physics degree from um, Pune, University of Pune in, in India, and I have a software engineering degree from Cal State Northridge, and I also have an art certificate from UCSD Extension. My community involvement starts uh, many years ago when I was uh, an engineer and I wanted to do something in the evenings and I, um, I took some training as a domestic violence counselor and I was a counselor for many years. I counseled people in shelters but also did uh, a bunch of phone counseling. Another, part, another thing I've been doing when, uh, after I've become an artist is when I go to India, I, um, I do art workshops. I went to a particular school in the state of uh, Gujarat in Ahmedabad to do a couple of weeks of art workshops with the kids there. And then last time, uh, last couple of times when I've been in India, I've uh, gone to a particular orphanage in my hometown uh, and did art workshops with students there. Uh, that's, that's been really fulfilling for me. Uh, community involvement in San Diego involves teaching book arts uh, to people, mm, community centers and library, libraries and schools. I know you can't see it in the video, but I use a wheelchair for daily, daily life and I have been disabled with polio since I was seven years old. So it's going to be 40 years this year that I was disabled and I'm paraplegic. Um, I don't never ever see my, I don't see my disability as being something I overcame. Um, I was born in a wonderful family where my family encouraged me to do whatever I wanted to do. My father said I was going to be financially independent and I should choose a, a career or an education which would allow me to do that. Uh, most of my, uh, most of the women of my generation, my family had arranged marriages, but I was free to choose my own partner. And I, I all, it all comes back to being disabled. And I actually look at my disability as, as something like that gave me a lot of freedom, gave me a lot of privilege. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but that's how it worked out. Being disabled actually enabled me, gave me the strength to be an artist. I think it's made me a very um, accepting person, a tolerant person. Um, I, I want to read you something that, um, you know, that... Uh, I keep in my studio. It's by Susan Sontag and she says, try to be the most um, encompassing person that you can be. You know, and I think my disability has um, allowed me and taught me to be that because if, uh, if, I, if you look at a person who who's doesn't fit the mold of you know, this perfect person, you know, how do you accept them in your life and how do you talk to them? and how do you uh, make a connection with them. My work, my artwork is a lot about connections. It's a single piece of paper that's all connected and to make an image. And I feel like my, like being a person is also all about connections. Um, and that's how I view my life. <laughs> The advice that I would give um, to young people is to be comfortable with yourself. Learn to like um, be alone. Learn to enjoy being alone. I know that sounds. I mean, in this in this age of Facebook, social media, clicks. You know, which click do you belong to? Who's talking to you? Who's not talking to you? Uh, I think, I think try to be alone and try to try to see what happens when when you know uh, you have time to yourself and what do you do with that time becomes really important uh, when you get older. You know, if you develop these good habits as a young person, 
as you get older and if you if you like being by yourself you're never going to feel isolated and lonely <laughs>